This is St. Louis de Montfort's Rosary Prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, well-beloved daughter of the Eternal Father, admirable mother of the Son, most faithful spouse of the Holy Spirit, August Temple of the Most Holy Trinity, hail, sovereign princess, to whom all is subject in heaven and on earth. Hail, sure refuge of sinners. Our Lady of Mercy, who has never rejected anyone, all sinful that I am, I cast myself at your feet, and I ask you to obtain for me, from the good Jesus, your dear Son, contrition and pardon for all my sins, along with divine wisdom. I consecrate myself entirely to you, along with all that I have. I take you today for my mother and my mistress. Treat me then as the last of your children and the most obedient of your servants. Listen, my princess, listen to the sighs of a heart that desires to love you and to serve you faithfully. Let it not be said that of all of those who have had recourse to you, I have been the first to be abandoned. O oh, my hope, O oh, my life, O oh, my faithful and immaculate Virgin Mary, graciously hear me, defend me, nourish me, and instruct me, and save me. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So right now I'm consecrating. I'm on the 33-day uh, consecration journey. Uh, it's the St. Louis de Montfort version. And um, we will end on the presentation of Jesus on February 2nd. And um, I have, have chosen this particular form of consecration because St. Louis de Montfort is my absolute favorite saint. And um, he was such a courageous, courageous priest that he did everything that he needed to do to be able to serve in his ministry and seek permission from the Pope himself at that time in the 1700s. And he did receive permission as apostolic missionary was to, to make settle. Jesus and Mary more known everywhere he went. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. Bye, everyone.